WTV News Center, I'm Zach Prosva with your sports report. The Vulcans to this point in the season have been seen as a dark horse contender in the PSAC West behind favorite IEP and Slippery Rock. With the homecoming contest against the nationally ranked Rock approaching, Cal looked to turn some heads and show they mean business in the 2014 season with a tough stretch of games approaching. You see California wearing the homecoming red for the first time this year against the 19th ranked Rock. First score comes from Paul Butler, 32 yards out on the fourth down play from James Harris, making it 7 0 in the first drive. Later in the first, or excuse me, we're in the second quarter now. Silberg had a field goal, but Nick Grissom bouncing to the outside against the vaunted Rock run defense, making it 14 to 3. California would never look back. And eventually, as you see on the next score right here, Gary Brown tapping one foot into the end zone, making it 28-3 to against the nationally ranked Rock. Gary Brown had two consecutive touchdowns in the game. But Julian Durden for Rock, able to answer. He scores into the end zone off a receiving pass from Zach Newsock. But then the turnovers would start, and California's defense would start to lock down. Jawan Turner comes up with an interception off a deflection from Damon Pierce, who also has an interception on the year as well. That would set up California on a nice drive. They would end up scoring. But later in the third quarter now, Julian Durden able to go into the end zone on a rushing score this time. But California's defense would still stiffen up. Chaz Veal, after the first play, was a pass interference. Coming back the next play, Big interception giving Calgary the ball. They would not score on that drive, though. But the last score of the game, 33-yard rocket pass to Kawan Scott, making a 48-26. And the Vulcans pummel the Rock en route to a 48-26 victory. The first time Cal has beaten a nationally ranked opponent since the classic 2012 Cold Bowl against IUP. Cal was led in the game offensively by James Harris, who tossed a career-high four touchdown passes while adding 326 yards. On defense, Chaz Veal, Jordan Bowman, and Jawan Turner each had an interception, which helped lead Turner to a second PSAC West Defensive Player of the Week honor for the 2014 season, while helping Cal hold the Rock to a season-low 66 rushing yards. Now, with the victory over the Rock, there is a three-way tie for the first-place spot in the Western Division, with Cal the technical first-place team due to tiebreaker scenarios. Also, with 4-1 and one conference records are rivals Slippery Rock and IUP, and Gannon, who has lost two straight, but they sit at 3-2. and two. What gets tricky, though, is all four of these teams still play each other at some point in the remaining part of the season. So, things will get very messy as the season goes on. And for their next matchup, the Vulcans welcome with arms wide open the arch-rival IUP Crimson Hawks, who are currently tied with Cal for first place in the West, as previously mentioned. The 6th annual Cole Bowl kicks off at 1 p.m. with pregame festivities all over Cal U's campus leading up to the game. If you are unable to come see this big rivalry tilt, live radio broadcasts will be available on WCAL 91.9 FM and CTV will have live stream through America 1 and tape delay airing next Monday at 6 and Tuesday at 4. Now, going from the gridiron to the court, the Cal women's volleyball team was back in action after a swing of East crossover matchups in the PSAC. While returning to the Convocation Center, Cal was pitted against Mountain East Conference foe Shepard, who the Vulcans have not seen in roughly four years, and come in with a decent 14-6 record overall. A great job building this program. You see Coach Peter Letourneau with Samantha Rudy, the libero for Cal. First set, Laura Miller getting one of her many kills in the night, going off of Samantha Scroggins, the libero for Shepard. And then in the first set, California would end up winning the first set after a block there. one nothing. California leads. In the second set, Shepard would reply, though. They have a big block right there. And then Holgerson for Shepard with a big kill, making it 8-6 Shepard in the second set. However, California will come back in the second set. Laura Miller getting another kill, making it 23-18. to And California would go on to win the second set. You see a block there. Another block upcoming, that would seal the set. California going up two games to none on the Rams. And in the third set, California would dominate as they usually do. Mary Lavery with a kill on the outside line. Danielle Hayes going on the opposite outside line towards the back corner. And then Miranda Fuzzi closing it out for the Vulcans, winning the third final set. And with the sweep over the Rams, the Vulcans improved to 19-5 overall and have won 11 consecutive games with some very tough competition included in those matchups. Leading the charge for the Vulcans was senior Laurel Miller and sophomore Danielle Hayes, who each recorded 10 kills. Junior libero Samantha Rudy also added a game-high 8 digs. 
The Vulcans return to play with a trip to Erie this coming weekend to take on Mercyhurst and Gannon. Senior cross-country standout Aaron Denzia was named PSAC Cross-Country Athlete of the Week for the fourth time in his career after setting a course record and defeating over 100 more runners to claim his third individual title of the season. While running at the Matt Cooper Invitational, Denzia posted a time of 24 minutes, 45.2 seconds, which ended up being 40 seconds faster than the second-place finisher. Denzio returns to action with the cross-country squad next weekend at the Go Fast River Run in Lock Haven. Now, guys, we talked about it last week. The matchup with Slipper Rock, how big that was. California ends up beating them. This week, the arch-rival IUP coming in, the 6th Annual Cold Bowl. What are you looking forward to as the big rivalry gets renewed again? Well, Zach, it doesn't get anything better than this. The Cold Bowl, it's basically the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry of the PSAC. Hopefully, the game's played under the sunlight and Cal comes away with a big win over IUP. I'm really excited to get to see this because I know every time that we see Cal versus IUP, Cole Bowl, it's always a big game. They always bring something good to the table. So can't wait for this this weekend. Yeah, I mentioned that 2012 Cole Bowl before. That was really the birth of Cody Nuzzo becoming the kicker he was. It could come down to a field goal if needed, and Cody Nuzzo is a very reliable option for uh, uh, Cal U. Maybe another star will be born as well. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Well, that will do it for this week's edition of News Center. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel at CUTV News Center for the latest video and full newscasts. Thanks for watching and have a great week.